Hello and happy summer solstice, happy Lipa, happy cancer season. I am so freaking excited for today. I love this day and I can't wait to get into this box from Flying Monkey Totes. It is her Lipa Sabbat box. I will link it down below. A huge thank you to Sarah for sending this to me. And it seems like we have a different uh, kind of box. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I know I'm behind on pretty much life. I'm busy working on these boxes to get them out, hopefully sooner rather than later, but maybe the first week of July. I'm trying to see if I can get them out before the 4th of July or after because, you know, holiday closures and whatnot. I don't want them just sitting anywhere. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. <laughs> I'm just saying, hi, sorry, I miss you guys. I've just been pretty slammed and depleted. Um, if you can't tell by my nails, look at the hideousness, but that's just the reality. I don't even have time to paint my nails. So let's just go ahead and get into this box. I am so excited. I just got back from Pilates, so I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm trying not to like hurt anything. Oh my goodness, what a beauty. I like, oh how cute. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I can't even imagine how long it takes her to do these boxes because she paints them by hand. That's just freaking stunning. I mean, come on, come on. Gorgeousness, that's beautiful. I love this box, it's like a book, you know? That is so freaking beautiful. The sun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open it off to the side so you guys don't get any spoilers. Oh, even the inside is pretty. I think it's rainbowy. I don't think it's my rainbows because there's not that many coming in but yes yeah, very pretty okay and we have her business card again I will link it down below so if you guys want to get the uh, NASA box llamas mm, she's so sweet and this is a beautiful card and we got these beautiful sunflowers my sunflowers are almost, almost there. I planted them a little bit later than I should have, but just because it wouldn't stop freaking snowing and, you know, frost and whatnot. But I think mid-July, I should have some sunflowers. All right. Oh, how pretty. Okay. I'm excited. So we have some sunflower seeds. This is plant each seed one inch deep, covered with soil, plant in direct sunlight, water until sprouting. Yum. I'm trying to see if I have another place for these or if I should save them till next year. I think I'm gonna try and plant them today, maybe even out in H, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go on a hike a little bit later. And then we have carrot cake, cupcake, organic green rooibos, cinnamon, and safflower papaya pieces. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. All right, let's see, let me get the paperwork stuff before I get into all the little, all the little prizzies. Hopefully you guys didn't see that spoiler. <laughs> all right, and we'll learn about the soul sense. And Horace is over here sniffing everything like usual. And this is the tea is not caffeine free. All right, let's get this off to the side. Actually, let me get this up out of the box so I can have that in the background because it's still so stinking beautiful and I love the book style box. That is so freaking cute. Come on, that is adorable. All right. Look at all these goodies. Horus, get out of there. Stop being nosy. Okay. All right. So we got Helios, which is the sun symbol. Okay. This is for the contents of the box. I'll put that over here. For this. this card and it says Italian born American race artist David Palladini released the Aquarian Tarot deck in 1970 after graduating from the Pratt Institute in New York City in addition to this iconic deck Palladini produces posters magazines ads and covers as well as children's books after the Aquarian Tarot perhaps his most noted work Palladini illustrated the version of Stephen King's The Eyes of the Dragon the sun card indicates happiness, fulfillment, optimism, and forecast the dawn that follows the darkest of the nights. 
As our primary source of life on Earth, the sun represents the force of all life energy. When the sun appears in your reading, it communicates success, radiance, and offers strength and vitality to all who feel its rays. It is an indication that joy and inspiration are on the way. The appearance of the sun card indicates a position of fortune, enabling you to share your talents and achievements with others. People are drawn to your warmth and inviting energy, welcome sunshine into your life, and enjoy a sense of well-deserved confidence. Life is good, and the sun is guiding your path upwards. And then we have this beautiful little artwork here, very solar, and uh, instructions on how to set up your altar and to customize it for litha. It's beautiful. And then we have the Helios card. It says, who is Helios? The golden orb rises, bleaching blue skies with an apricot glow bright rays beaming amplified by birdsong helios the sun god has arrived according to the greek pantheon helios is regarded as god of the sun and recognized as a personification of the sun itself he was one of the titans and the 12 greek deities that ruled mount olympus amidst the quiet darkness the sun the rising sun of helios symbolizes the promise of hope and the prospect of the new simultaneously his wrath may bring aggression inviting scorching fire and death Thus, it is essential that we address Helios with the respect and reverence that he demands. Helios rules over the sun, meant that he was in control, the very source of life. As a result, he was respected as well feared. In some folk tales, his physical appearance is separate from the sun, but he is most often recognized as the sun itself, wielding his power accordingly. Likewise, the characteristics of the sun were directly correlated with Helios' persona. Every slight rise in heat or plunge in sunshine was explained by fluctuation in Helios' temperament. He is often portrayed as a young man with a shining aura and a fire-spun garment blazing across the sky each day. Helios circles the globe, inevitably returning to the darkness of the night where his voyage began. This grand course is based upon the sun's daily journey across the skies, moving from east to west. Symbols of Helios often include circles, spirals, halos, and crowns, as well as the 12 sunbeams radiating from the center. The sunbeams denote the 12 titans corresponding to the 12 months of the year. there. All right. Let's get into one of the little thingies here. Um, first, we have precious amber incense cones, which I would love to light one up right now. nice and a little bit soapy oh goodness gracious me. okay all right light this bad boy up hopefully you guys are all gonna have a beautiful solstice and get out in nature play in the sun harvest some goodies The next thing we have is something like this. Oh, how cute. Looks like we have an Organite Pyramid. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just fell under the table. Ah. It's doing good. No harm. Let's come to this beauty. Look at that little solar pyramid. Actually, I'm sorry for the nails, but I just didn't have time. All right, let me see if I can find a little card for that. Here we go. Uh, you may have heard the words organ or organite and have wondered and have wondered <laughs> what the heck does this mean? An organ device or an organite is one which converts stagnant energy to positive and healthy energy. It contains an approximate 50-50 ratio of organic to inorganic material and contains at least one quartz crystal, but usually hosts several many crystals. Uh, ways to work with organite. Uh, it says meditate with an organite. 
Why can I not tell you right now? Okay, here we go. Let me get it together. I'm out of um, practice here. Okay. Meditate. <laughs> you can use it to meditate. Uh, communicate your intention to organize. Talk to it in your mind or out loud. Carrying it with you. Um, you can place it into your pet's bed. Cleanse with it in crystals. Um, okay. <laughs> and she said she just read this and had to share. Uh, she said, I'm cracking up. Stop it. Place a piece of... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Place a piece of organite or any quartz crystal in your toilet tank. This way you are generating a positive flow of organ energy with every flush of the toilet. Think of your toilet and all water flow in your own home as your own personal stream of consciousness, both literally and figuratively. That extra kick of positive energy given by the organite will be spread all over the world as all streams of water and consciousness are interconnected. She says, I did not edit a word of this paragraph. That's hilarious. Um, I might try that, but if you would like to pause to read about all the other, like, you know, more elaborate ways of working with it, you can pause to read there. I have one by my bed and uh, one by my computer to help absorb that. Um, but this is a new one. I think I'll carry that in my pocket because it's nice and small. Maybe today on my hike. Okay. And then we have our candles. She always has the cutest little charms on these. Okay. And this one has a, a cute little baby cauldron. And it smells freaking delicious. Nice, bright solar energy. Put those there. Okay. And then we have our Litha card. How cute is that? Love that. And it says, what is Litha? Litha, summer solstice or midsummer, marks the beginning of summer when the goddess and god are at their height of power. Together they rule over the abundant and fertile earth. The pregnant goddess mirrors fields, orchards, gardens, and greens, whereas the god or sun king is the living representation of the summer sun who nurtures and protects the earth goddess. Many pagans celebrate Litha with bonfires, feasts, and dancing. Others reenact the ancient tradition of setting a wagon wheel aflame and rolling it downhill into a body of water. Although there are numerous and varied customs to honor solstice, they most often revolve around the element of fire, as it represents the heat of the sun and its almighty power this time of year. Although Litha marks the zenith of the sun and the solstice brings the birth of the holy king, god of the dark half of the year, he challenges the oak king, god of the light half of the year, and from this day forward, the light of the oak king begins to wane and draws to a close. We now begin to descend into darkness and move towards the darkness of winter. <laughs> Litha's always better sweet for me because I'm like, I know it's just going to get darker and darker. <laughs> the power of the sun at solstice is protective, healing, empowering, revitalizing, inspiring, and it adds a most powerful charge to our spells, divination work, crystals, tools, and rituals. Okay. All right. The next thing we have here is something like this. Oh, how cute. It's so cute. I love these. It's an incense burner that is handmade in Bali. That is adorable. I'm going to use this today in a lot of my workings that I'm doing. Mm, love that. That's beautiful. Put that here. Hope you guys can see it, hopefully. Okay. And then we have uh, a ritual on the back for the Helio success rate, and then the correspondences to Litha. Cool. And then we have another item like this. It's like the Tree of Life little globy. Let me see what the actual name of it is because I know it's not that. <laughs> oh, this is not it. Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. Okay, this is the Tree of Life glass paperweight, a symbol of peace and connection. And then the Organite Pyramid has um, copper, citrine, resin, and yellow adventurine. And the wood is Alevizia, Falaktaria wood. 
Here is the spoiler card. What a cute, beautiful little summer box. Hands down, my favorite is the box. It's absolutely beautiful. I love all the work. Everything she puts into that is just amazing. And I love the solar energy and just all the information with this box. But like I said, this, that box is definitely my favorite item. And I think the runner up is going to be a tie between the, oh, why does it keep doing that? <laughs> Organite Pyramid and the Sun Incense Burner. It's so freaking precious. Um, I think she did a fantastic job. So again, thank you, Sarah, for this awesome box. Let me know down below what you guys thought about this box and what your favorite item was. And I hope you guys are all having an amazing start to your summer. And I hope you get out there and get so much vitamin D and you're living your best life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.